In the past two months, I've made over $240,000 from drop shipping. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through every single step I would take to start a drop shipping business from complete scratch and grow it all the way to a quarter million dollars. And I'm talking every single step of the way so you can have a literal blueprint that you can use to build your own drop shipping store. Quick disclaimer, this video is going to be around 15 to 20 minutes. So if you don't have the focus to watch a video that long, even though it can literally get you everything you've ever wanted, wanted, I'd probably just click off now. But for those of you who want to succeed and make money online with drop shipping, make sure you watch this all the way through and implement everything I'm about to teach. And at the end of this video, I'll be revealing exactly how much net profit we made over these last two months. So real quick, let me show you guys the profit from December 12th to January 9th. That was the period we sold this $244,777.89. And if we go to the peak, of when I was selling this around January 18th. Here's a $12,000 day. And then if we go to the 19th, here we have another 12K day. And then if we go to the 20th, here is an $11,000 day. So we'll be covering the entire process A to Z. But first, let me give you a quick 20 second explanation with how dropshipping works and what's needed to get started. So dropshipping itself is pretty simple. Essentially, we'll find a trending product on TikTok and list it on our Shopify store for let's say $44.95. Now, if a customer pays us, we then send our supplier $20 to ship that product out to the customer and then we're left with the difference, in this case, $25 in net profit. The reason dropshipping is the best business model is because it's relatively low risk without you needing any upfront inventory. And the best part about running TikTok ads is you can get started with a couple hundred dollars and there's new products going viral every day. Now, I'm not saying the first product you test is going to make $100,000, but if you implement what I'm about to teach you, you'll have the best possible chance at succeeding, even if it takes three to five products. So with that being said, the remainder of this video will be split into four parts, zero to 10K, 10 to 50K, 50 to 100K, and 100 to 250K revenue. So for your first $10,000 in revenue, we will need three key elements, a Shopify store, a winning product, in ads for our product. Now, most beginners are lacking in one of these three areas, and that's why so many new dropshippers struggle to find a winning product. So for the Shopify store, we'll be using my custom AI store builder. Simply pick any niche of your choice, click build my free store, and within two minutes, your custom Shopify store will be ready. Just like that, you have a branded store preloaded with products that you can sell. Now, the second key element we need is a winning product, and the easiest method to find winners is using Minya's product spy feature, we can click on the TikTok winners preset to show us trending TikTok products. And then we can select ads from the last 30 days to only show us products that are new. Now, all winning products have three main characteristics. The first is a wow factor. That means your product provokes a reaction in the customer. Second, the product can't be sold in physical stores. This will force the customer to order from your shop. And third, the product must have low cost of goods. The best products on TikTok usually cost four to $15 to show ship to your customer, which lets you sell it for healthy profit margins. So after scrolling on Minya 30 to 60 minutes, you should be able to build up a product research sheet like this, focusing on the product name, competitor store, the Minya link, the AliExpress link, cost of goods, and even a suggested selling price. Now the third and final key element that's going to help us narrow this list down to a few potential products is checking the existing content available for this product. So for this food purifier device, there were a ton of videos on TikTok in the ads were literally showing bugs crawling out of the fruit. So for the food purifier, let's run it through the three winning product characteristics to see how it matches up. So it definitely has the wow factor. It's not something commonly sold in stores. And finally, one unit costs $20 on AliExpress, which lets us sell it for a healthy $44.95, $25 profit margin. At this point, we have a Shopify store and we have a winning product, but we still need a supplier for this product because AliExpress often has delays and can ship out faulty products. So I personally use AutoDS to ship out my orders. They can import any product from AliExpress and 
in. AutoDS has their own warehouses around the world, so you usually get lower cost of goods and faster shipping times. It's literally a no-brainer for anyone getting started. So below this video, I will have my affiliate links for both Minya and AutoDS. If you guys enjoy this type of content, the easiest way to support me is by using those links down below. You can use code Eclipse20 for 20% off Minya. And if you sign up with my AutoDS link, you'll receive an extended 30-day free trial with some bonus sourcing credits. Thanks Minya and AutoDS for sponsoring today's video. Let's move on. Now that we have the product added to our store, we can pimp out the page a bit because by default, it's going to look like a generic AliExpress listing. So to start, I recommend creating a branded product name. You can ask ChatGPT for some inspiration and pick what you believe sounds the best. For this product, we went with the NutriWash Food Purifier. Next, I like to clear out the description and start with a fresh slate. Again, ChatGPT will do most of the heavy lifting here. You can copy this prompt and then paste the text over. I recommend centering the description, adding some GIFs slash images, and then bolding certain words to help them stand out. From here, we can upload our product images, and I recommend using the magic search feature on Minya. You can type in any product name or upload a photo of that product, and it will show you all the other competitors selling that. From here, we can download all the images that we can possibly find, and then it's very easy to pick the best four to seven images, and you'll be left with something like this. I recommend incorporating some lifestyle photos, a benefits image, testimonials, and maybe even some before and afters or gifts if it makes sense for your product. Next up, we have the pricing. So I recommend following a simple pricing structure. You want to aim for $20 profit margins minimum per sale. So remember, one of these costs about $20. So we'll sell this for $44.95. And because this is a higher selling price, I'm also giving free shipping on all orders to help reduce that friction. And to finish up the product page, let's install Luke's reviews. This will let us import reviews from AliExpress to help build some more trust and social proof with our customers. This will help us appear like a credible authority in the space. And now that our Shopify store is officially set up, we can move on to the TikTok ads. So for your testing campaign, I recommend following this video right here. For that strategy, we'll be spending $50 on day one and we'll need three videos of our product. So again, use the magic search feature on Minya to look at what videos your competition is running and also search your product on TikTok to find some UGC videos there. The main goal for day one is to identify at least one profitable ad creative that we can then use to scale with. And for us, that was video number one. You can see it spent $26 generating two two orders for $89.90, but after spending $40 to ship those two orders out, this single ad generated us $25 in net profit, which is pretty good for testing. Then for videos two and three, I turned both of those off. Video three had one add to cart for $18 ad spend, while video one had seven add to carts for $26 ad spend. So video three just wasn't getting buying intent. Then video two had no add to cart and the most expensive cost per click so I turned that one off too, because again, there was no buying intent. From here, we can slowly scale up. I recommend making a second campaign also at $50. And every two to three days that these campaigns are profitable, we can double the budget. Going from $50 a day to $100 a day, $250 a day, $500 a day, and even $1,000 plus ad spend per day. Now, some healthy metrics that you can keep in mind for the USA is a cost per click below $1, a click-through rate 1% or above, add to carts for one third to one fourth your break even point, and then the most important, getting purchases within our break even point as well. Also, for me personally, every one in five products tends to be a winner, so don't get discouraged if the first product you test isn't profitable. Even for the best drop shippers, that's an unrealistic expectation. Drop shipping isn't a business where you can just test a few products for fun. You'll need to commit yourself to this and make it a priority to find success no matter what the cost. Because what other options do you have? Like really think about it. If you want to make an extra five to 15K per month, how will you do it without drop shipping? In my opinion, this is by far one of the easiest methods to print money online from anywhere in the world. Now, if you guys are looking to hit the next level and go from 10 to 50K revenue, understand that you'll need to reinvest your profits on TikTok ads. For example, you'll need to spend 15 to $20,000 on ads if you're looking to hit that $50,000 revenue mark. Now, don't get discouraged. I know that sounds like a big number now, but remember, you're slowly increasing your ad spend and working your way up to that over time. So if you guys need some more advanced scaling strategies, I recommend joining my Discord. 
Code because in my course there, I have a detailed scaling process that teaches exactly how to run your ads each day. And unfortunately, there's just not enough time in this 20 minute video to cover it all. What I can recommend though, is referring back to these golden metrics and turning off anything that doesn't fit the criteria. To keep things simple, if something is profitable consistently, then just keep spending more money. Remember, go from 50 to 100, 250, all the way up to 1K a day on ads. And remember, when you find a profitable ad creative, you need to double down and start spending more if you're wanting to earn more on your website. At this point as well, you'll be processing around 50 to 100 daily orders. So it's a good time to hire your first virtual assistant for around $300 per month. You can hire a full-time employee to work 40 hours each week and to help with your customer support, your product research, or any other odd tasks that you want some help with. So think about it. You will have an extra 120 hours each month, giving you more time to focus on those key activities. Also, if you don't have email and SMS set up by now, you're missing out on at least 10 to 30% additional revenue. So I recommend installing both Klaviyo and TXT Cart. These these apps will follow up with customers who add to cart, but don't fully complete their orders and it'll offer them a 10% off discount code to get them back through your checkout. Now, once you hit 50K plus revenue, you'll start running into some small issues that may make it difficult to hit $100,000 if you aren't properly prepared. For example, since you are a dropshipping business, it's common for Shopify to temporarily hold some payments while they verify your personal documents. And for that reason, I recommend having a credit card so you can still scale your ads and fulfill orders in case Shopify gives you any delays. The American Express Gold Card is like a cheat code for this, especially because ad spend gives you four times the credit card points. This is how a lot of e-com bros are traveling the world first class without actually paying for flights or five-star hotels. So when your store makes more sales, you earn more credit card points, which basically let you travel the world for free. And when I got my first ever winning product, I scaled too hard, believe it or not. I went from zero to 47K in seven days, and I actually had to pause my ads for a bit because I was waiting on Shopify to transfer money into my bank account. And because of that, I missed out on over $10,000 plus of daily revenue. Additionally, you'll start getting some more frequent customer support emails, so it's important you're answering everyone quickly and answering their concerns. Most people will be wondering where their order is, which is valid because we are shipping from China. So answering these quickly will help you prevent potential refunds and any future chargebacks. At this point as well, you may experience some ad fatigue. So on TikTok, it's common for your winning ad creative to only be profitable for one to four weeks. So with that being said, you will need to test more videos and not just rely on that one initial video that you had from the day one test. Another hack is to test some new offers in pricing structures, because in this case, my conversion rate stayed the same when I increased my price from $44.95 by $10 to $54.95. Now for the final phase, let's jump from 100 to 250K revenue. At this point, you should have all your systems set up and TikTok should be generating one to 5K daily revenue. And the easiest way to double your sales overnight is simply duplicating your top campaigns onto Meta or Snapchat. Those two platforms alone can produce a few thousand dollars each day on top of the revenue you're making from TikTok. Also keep in mind, over this two month period, I was reinvesting my profits each day and spent $81,000 on TikTok ads. So again, if you're looking to scale up, you will need to understand the data and have confidence to spend your money on ads. For example, our ads have a cost per purchase of $20. That means every $20 I spend, I'm generating generating one sale on my website. So remember, if you're looking to scale, you need to be comfortable spending more money, especially when the profits are flowing. Now it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. So from December 12th all the way until February 9th, we have generated 4,000 orders, $244,777.89, but we did spend 81K on ads. We got to ship the orders out to the customer. There's transaction fees, some refunds. And at the end of the day, we walked away with $56,000 in net profit, functioning at 23% profit margins. And I'm pretty happy with this because most e-com stores at scale are at around 20 to 30%. So overall, I'm incredibly happy with how this store performs. 
form. So that's the full blueprint I would follow if I were starting drop shipping in 2024. Now, if you follow everything I've given you correctly, there's no doubt that you'll make your first sale with drop shipping and go on to make millions of dollars. But having said that, I'm not going to pretend that you won't encounter some difficulties along the way doing it on your own. You have to figure out how to find your own winning product, how to source ad creatives, and how to scale your campaigns up day to day. And between those, most people get overwhelmed and often feel like giving up. So if you want to avoid all of that and you want my guidance to reach 15K per month in 30 to 90 days, then I want you to click that first link down in the description below and apply for a spot in my private mentorship program. Inside, there's over 40 hours of pre-recorded course modules, live coaching calls, and a community with other drop shippers doing anywhere from six to seven figures. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.